lot. Verse 3. Ye that put far off, ye that put far away the evil day and cause the seed of violence to come near. That lie Let me keep going. Ahead. Yeah, I need that, that lie upon beds of ivory and stretch themselves upon their couches and eat the lambs out of the flock and the calves out of the midst of the star. So first and foremost, man, I was going to Israel. You know, first and foremost, but now that that's the white man, man. But Jake, you Jake, man, y'all put far away the evil day. Right, right. And y'all done got comfortable here in America. And we know, you know, hey, this is the white man's kingdom. So of course he's trying to, you know, he gonna live comfortable. But he won't even share the kingdom with the rest of his, his nation. Right, man. If you ain't up the elite's bloodline, they don't give a fuck about you, man. That's a ruthless country, you know. When Jake ruling, all Jake gonna have it good, man. You it don't be no such thing as a poor Israelite, man. It don't be no such thing as a destitute Israelite. Right. No matter what family you from, what bloodline, you don't have to go back to King David. You don't have to go back to, to, to Aaron and Moses. All Israel is going to be living, man, we're going to be living great. Right. So, yeah, that's good on that, man. Yeah, okay, that's good right there. Go to the Hey, like you said, uh, you was talking about what the scripture was talking about, uh, woe to them that uh, put far off the evil day and caused the seed of violence to come here. You know, because you put far off that evil day, you basically saying that uh, what you talking about, it ain't going to come in my time. Right. And therefore, come. you know, uh, you calling yeah, the come. seed of violence to uh, come near. Come near to Jake. That's that martial law, famine. Uh, disease, the new different uh, pestilences. Uh, what's that? Uh, the, the RFID microchip. That's the seed oh. of violence to come near because you like, oh, that ain't that ain't gonna happen. Oh, that's a, gonna happen years, a hundred years down the line. You know? Right. And then they got, they got the uh, chip already out. Y'all probably seen it. Y'all can look at it. Chip already out, but yeah, that's yeah, gonna be a hundred years yeah. from now. And so Jake thinking they good, you know, Jake thinking yeah. they good, just indulging in this kingdom, and then the so-called white man plotting the planning, <laughs> really already got it set up. All he gotta do is, is say, uh, get the, uh, with the military time, get an order. Yeah, uh, you know, order. yeah, you know, give give the order to execute the plan. Yeah. Right. Yeah. And it's gonna be through executive order. Uh -huh. Obama signed that that right executive order. They're gonna put it in motion. Uh -huh. yeah. As uh, he he's gonna act as uh, uh, commander commander in chief. Uh -huh. Con. So they, when they, this wow. is how this when they bring you up on the charge and say you're guilty of it. They're gonna have it mandated, documented. So when they come and charge you with it, it's gonna be right here. But well, this is what you're charged with. Boom, boom, boom. This and that. They get to lock you up in the concentration camp, so it's gonna be already, you know what I'm saying, set in place. Yeah, we went into the chip that was uh, a couple weeks ago, man. And then I'll be forgetting I had this in my bag, but uh, you know, that's that's the same same on the picture, man. I mean, yeah, on the on the sign we got, you know, so. but uh, the brothers talking about. Brothers talking about you know executive orders and right. As soon as that that executive order come out, we going directly under control of FEMA, man. And then it's basically that's when that martial law gonna kick in the full effect. And this is you know it's this going into you know this F and I it's gonna touch on it, but right. Uh, this chip this chip is military, man. Right. You know like we talked about this is uh. Basically for logistics. Yeah. It's a logistics. tool for logistics. Right. Logistics and transportation, but it goes upon it. Yeah. So this is also it's gonna uh, be tied. You're gonna be basically you're gonna have a, a GPS yeah. coordinate. Right. 
right. To, so to be able to track you at all times, as well as your uh, financial and medical information and all that, they're gonna be able to track you anywhere on this globe by this chip, man. So it's just a, it's a, it's a military, because America is basically through D.C., man. <laughs> D.C. is the, the head of the military, right, right. you know, of the three city states. Right. So the U.S. basically, man, is the military branch of this man's uh, empire. Right. So, right. you know, everything is going, basically, man, when you read in the scripture, the, the Esau talks about, I will be as the most high. Right. Uh, Exodus 15 and 3. Three and yeah. Yeah, it's a uh, uh, yeah. Yeah, fifteen and three, fifteen right? and three. Fifteen and three. Most high is a man of war. So Esau does everything, you know, as his blessing with the sword. So he he does everything. He he's about strategy huh. and strategizing. That's how logistics is, man. When you go into the etymology of logistics, it's strategy. And so their strategy is to distance you as far as possible make it impossible for the most high to deal with you and then uh execute complete control over con yeah and this 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 will give them that power to do that yep. so once you take this the most high is done with you yep. con. and then these devils can do whatsoever they will with you hey right now they can't keep track of everybody exactly i mean somebody can like uh That's be right. on the run and basically hide out from this devil like i mean they can find you you know right. what i'm saying but you can actually hide. I mean, if you take off, uh, if you get rid of all your electronic uh, devices, mm -hmm. go off the grid. Yeah, so basically, basically yeah. go off it's the called, grid. Yeah. Right, right. Yeah. Right. They had that cracker that up there, upstate, that killed that state trooper. That still, I don't even think they found they him yet. They ain't got him yet. He out there hiding in the woods and shit. He saw I don't want that shit no more. He want to know where you at. Mm -hmm. So it has to take a lot of time and man hours for him to do that shit. And you know, telling how good that cracker know that um, the area he in, he can set booby traps and everything, and get them off. So they don't want to fool with that. Uh, no. And a lot of people jump ship and go go off into another country. Con, they do that again. Con. You know? And with that with that chip, you 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 go you go a file, so to speak, of this white man. He could just have a drone lock in on your coordinates uh -huh. and, and take you out, man. Uh -huh. They ain't got, like the brother said, they don't have to use no man, or uh, literally no manpower. Right. Just yeah. whoever, you know, operating the drone. Yep. So now let's go back to Zephaniah, Zephaniah. brother. Zephaniah 1 and 13. Therefore their goods shall be a, become a booty, and their houses a desolation. They shall also build houses, but, no inhabit, but, but not inhabit them. They shall plant vineyards, but not drink the wine thereof. Yeah, this devil is constantly building right, houses, right, man. Yep. Constantly, man. Everywhere yep. putting up new neighborhoods and yep. shit. Yep. But the economy, let alone the housing market, mm. is, is at an all-time low. Right. Especially the housing market. You know, this ain't the time to buy no house, but they steady building houses. And they, yep. cause they know they got, America is a land of suckers. Hey, they build a, not only houses, they build a roads, Yep. Uh, well, new freeways and, and uh, extensions of the freeway. That's going to logistics. That's for the military, yep. you know. Yep. That, ain't, yep. that ain't for you niggas <laughs> to, to, to ride your, your 20s and your goddamn <laughs> swangers so you can go see a, 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 a nasty slut. Huh. They build it right in. Yeah. But yeah, that's for the for the, the uh, military to go back and forth on, yep. you know. Yeah, you see how they, how they widen them, like six yeah. lanes on one side. Yeah. Uh. Get them on um, the MRAPs now. Them yeah. MRAPs, whatever else they need to transport. Yeah. The logistics. Yep. They got the Ellison Airfield up here, then it's an ammunition depot that go from 45 all the way up to, um, I think it's called a Red River Ammunition Depot close to Dallas. So you can get all okay, that shit okay. back and forth through here like that. Damn, that's yep. a long way. Oh, yeah, they on, right. And see, this is what we've been telling you, man. This is what martial law is all about. Yeah. And they, they basically, man, like we've been saying, man. The white man playing chess. Yep. Uh, you niggas playing marbles. Y'all ain't right. in the same right. goddamn right. game. Yeah. <laughs> right. You know? So yeah, you know, for for a nigga, they'll never they'll never take down the white man. But the elect through the Howard Bosch from Yahweh shot, or you put it better, 
put it the other way. Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shah, through his elect, is going to take this devil out, man. He's going to take this devil out. Go ahead, all right? Okay, um, this is um, Ezekiel 25 and 14. And I will lay my vengeance upon Edom by the hand of my people Israel. And they, and they shall do in, in Edom according to my anger. Read that again, brother. Ezekiel 25 and 14. And I will lay my vengeance upon Edom by the hand of my people Israel. So they're just established since we got some that don't know. Edom is the so-called white man and white woman. And they're white children. The Most High said he's going to bring vengeance upon you white people right. by the hands of his people, the Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans who y'all have uh, exploited, right. robbed, raped, murdered, plundered. Yep. The Heavenly Father is going to raise up a remnant and that remnant is going to take vengeance on you devils, man. Right. Which is the most highest vengeance. But he's going to let the elect carry it out. And that's, man, that's beautiful, man. That is beautiful. You know how they say that's poetic justice. That's right. Fine. Read that one more time, brother. Ezekiel 25 and 14. And I will lay my vengeance upon Edom. Look at Jake. He's swinging. Jake, Jake, Jake settled on his leaves, man. Shit. Jake is settled on his leaves, man. Shit. You see him swing? How he cut that cord? <laughs> hey, hey, but did you see how that white woman just trying to gather her children? Right. Well, I said, no, okay. You can gather them now, but, you know. Right. Judgment is set. That's right. It's like they, they use the term manifest destiny. Yep. It was time to take Gad down. That's right. And and put Gad, miss, you know, take Gad off his land. Manifest destiny right. is coming back, you know, right. full circle to you white people, man. So go ahead, brother. Ezekiel 25 and 14. And I will lay my vengeance upon Edom by the hand of my people Israel. And they shall do in Edom according to my anger and according to my fury. Mm -hmm. And they shall know right. my vengeance, said the Lord Power. Right. Y'all going to know the vengeance of the Lord, man. <laughs> He's going to put his anger in his elect, man. Uh. So that we're we going to be like, you know, righteous Jasons and uh, Michael, yeah, Michael Myers, right. man. You know, Ooh. you can't stop them motherfuckers, man. Right. Hell yeah. no. Dr. Loomis hit, hit Michael Myers with about, about four, five, 40, 40 folks slugs. Right. That motherfucker fell out the window. Still got the ground up. got up and was gone, <laughs> man. <laughs> Shit, man. We're going to be like righteous Michael Myers right. and, and Jason Voorhees on y'all, man. Y'all yep. ain't going to be able to escape, man. Yep. Go ahead, brother. Okay, that's the point. Hey, All right. That's that's yeah, go ahead. Hey, and, uh, like the two thirds gonna get it in on a really on a on a small level. Yep. You yep. know, dealing with uh yep. getting taken, getting uh when these race riots race break war. out. Con, con. Race wars break out, but dealing with taking down the government and taking down this white man power, that's really where the elect gonna get it in at. You know, cause the elect ain't gonna be really we're not gonna be partaking in these, these race riots out here and this, this, when all this calamity come here on, in America and throughout the earth, the elect is not going to be in the midst of that, you know? And, and you know, basically, you know, the most high going to have his hand on, over the elect. Even though certain members of the elect, you know, will get put to death. But when it comes to taking down this white man, so-called white man Esau, power structure, his, uh, his government, or his power, his power, Structure, uh, that's when they let gonna get it in. You know? I gotta bring it out, bro. Come on in. Right. Jeremiah chapter 51, verse 9, starting in verse 19. The portion of Jacob is not like them, for he is the former of all things, and Israel is the rod of his inheritance. The Lord of hosts is his name. Go ahead and speak on it, brother. Oh, right. So, I mean, you know, that go, I mean, it's talking about Israel as a whole, but in these times, really, uh, you know, dealing with the elect, you know? 
But even like I uh, mentioned, where the scriptures mention it, two thirds gonna get it in too, as far as getting on uh, paying this devil back, you know? Yeah. But two thirds ain't gonna make it up out of here, uh -huh. you know? I read on, this is uh, verse 20. <clears throat> Thou art my battle axe and right. weapons of war. For with thee will I break in pieces the nations, and with thee will I destroy kingdoms. That's basically it. That's the point, man. You want to speak on that? Yeah, basically, the, the in the back, to go with uh, the scripture the brother just brought out, you know? That's right. The Most High is going to use his people, uh, Israel, to take down, and this scripture right here says, and, it, and we did this in the, in the ancient times, but it's, it's gonna happen again. Like during the time of King David, we took down under 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 King David, we took down nations, you know, actual nations. The Moabites, the Edomites, the Philist, the the Hamites, the you know uh, uh, the Ammonites, taking down all the nations. But it, 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 that time is coming again. We finna, we finna take down nations and destroy kingdoms. Right. Under under the under the power of Yahweh Shem Yahweh You know, and that. Hey, right. If I can get a scripture, uh, uh, Daniel seven and eighteen. Yeah. I get it. Cause right now the the uh, the saints of the Most High, really until the kingdom get here, the whole nation of Israel won't be the same until uh, the kingdom get here. You know, but right now, just the elect is the same to the most high. It's Daniel, 7 and 18. But the saints of the most high shall take the kingdom. Because read it louder. Daniel, 7 and 18. But the saints of the most high shall take the kingdom and possess the kingdom forever, even forever and ever. Right, and the saints, the scripture tell you, I believe it's 